Hi, I'm here to talk about my ulcerative colitis. Um, hopefully it will help some of you out there dealing with the disease as it's not an easy one. Uh, back in 2005, I noticed change in the amount that I went to the bathroom um, and I noticed blood and inflammation. So I went to see actually um, a doctor who recommended me to get a colonoscopy. So I went for a colonoscopy and an endoscopy and they told me afterwards that I should take um, a medication called Periot which is to control ulcers as well as a medication called salifoc enemas, um, which is a steroid. Um, after two weeks of taking this medication, um, my stomach was bad again and I had a flare-up. Um, I went to see my family doctor who sent me to a top specialist, actually a gastroenterologist, um, who actually um, did a sigmoidoscopy, looked at my results from my colonoscopy and my endoscopy and said um, this is not just ulcers and period is not necessary but indeed this girl has ulcerative colitis um, so he gave me softbox enemas um, to continue cortisone, which is a cortisone steroid um, and a medication called Pantasa. Um, they helped me at the beginning, uh, although after several months of being on these medications, um, I had a flare up again and it's just been reoccurring. Um, I definitely think that stress adds to it all. I um, definitely think that stress adds to it and um, I just, for the past year and a half, it's just been really bad for me to the point that I actually was just hospitalized for about a week and a half. Um, I had a really bad flare-up. I lost 30 pounds. Um, I needed to be fed through IVs. I was dehydrated and um, lost all my nutrients. Um, they actually discharged me. Um, I had to kind of beg them to do that. And um, um, I was given steroids, um, prednisone actually. I was given acetal now. I was given 6-MP and two different antibiotics. Um, I've stopped the antibiotics. I'm currently on acetal, 6-MP, and prednisone, which is a steroid. I'm um, gained some weight back. I try to really watch everything I eat. I don't eat out. Um, no dairy. Dairy I find is really bad. I mean, for everyone it's always different, but definitely for me it's been bad. And um, you know, try to stay stick to eating healthy um, foods and organic foods. Um, a lot of soy. Um, I actually had a fever last night. Um, I find that I get fevers a lot, either because my immune system is really low. I know that uh, fevers are associated with ulcerative colitis, and I know I have got fevers um, during my flare-ups, although I'm not in a flare-up, but I do. Um, I am inflamed, and uh, I do have inflammation, and... Um, it's pretty bad. Yeah, it's pretty bad sometimes. So, yeah, I'm just hoping that I don't have to resort to, like, anything else. Because, I mean, it's been hard as it is. And I know, um, for those out there who really, who have UC ulcerative colitis, I know what it's like. And I know that it really stops you from living your life and going out and stuff. And, you know... It's, it's not easy and really try and get lots of rest <laughs> live a stress free life as much as possible and um, 
really watch what you eat, try and eat like five, six meals a day. And again, you know, no dairy. Depending on how many times you go to the bathroom, I would say try and keep these recommended less than two grams of fiber for each serving of food that you do have throughout the day. Um, you know, weekly checkups to the, you know, regular, sorry, regular checkups to the doctor always helps. And, um, yeah, if there's anything I could say, it's really, you know, all the above I just mentioned, as well as, like, rest and no stress. Stress is bad, B-A-D, wow, bad. <laughs> um, so, yeah, good luck, and um, a nutritionist is always good to have as well, um, guidance guidance on what you should eat if you are not eating other things that your stomach can't handle. Um, yeah, you'll be alright.